Points Yarn is a store in Des Moines. It's a beautiful coastal town in Puget Sound, south of Seattle near the airport. Um, been open since May 2008, and uh, we feature all kinds of yarns, uh, knitting machines, weaving, all kinds of classes. Um, we have great so you teach classes right here? Yes, teach great. hand knitting, crochet, machine knitting, weaving, um, embroidery needlepoint if desired. Um, got a lot of groups that meet in uh, this store for their monthly social gatherings and have evening classes, weekend classes, and daytime. Called garter stitch, and when you make this stitch, it's knitting every stitch, every row, and it mm -hmm. makes ridges. Mm -hmm. When you do this fabric, mm -hmm. it's knitting one row, then purling the next row. Oh, okay, that's what I wanted. to know. So to make okay. this blanket, notice that there's a little border. Yes, yes. So you knit the first five stitches, and on the knit row, you knit all the way across. Mm -hmm. But on the purl row, you knit the first five stitches again, and then purl all the way to the last I see, five I see. stitches. Now, how many inches is this? How big this is this? This is about 28 inches. Okay. Now, and the so piece that I've got two of them this size, mm -hmm. but the yarn was really, really thick, but it's so soft. It's like it's a really plush, big. kind of a yes, big, chunky yarn. Yes, it's gorgeous. And it's a little white, like for a boy. Oh, so here's one that's it would be similar weight, maybe. Yeah, yeah. This is also very soft. Oh, I this has a yarn that's rather inexpensive. I have lots of yarn available for uh, charity knitting, by the way. So if you ever need a pound of yarn, uh -huh. I sell it $7 a pound. So oh. it's very inexpensive to okay. do donate. Yeah. Did you make this sweater, Morgan? Yes, I did. I made it as a model for the yarn called Aspen and trimmed it in a yarn called Disco, which is rather appropriate. It's very cool. It fits about a two to three year old. All right, Morgan, this is beautiful, this wall. Tell me something yeah. about it. Yeah, what you see here is Cascade uh, yarns. They're 220. It comes in hundreds of colors. It also comes in tweeds and quattro, which is a four ply strand of different colors and then it comes in heather yarns and next to that is the uh, hand paints which are these yarns they're beautifully kettle dyed and then they are uh, turned into hanks you wind them up and you can get about 220 yards on any one of the hanks I also carry their alpaca yarn which is extremely soft and a beautiful yarn this is the chunky they have a good yarn wonderful yarn called rustic which is linen and wool, makes a beautiful fabric. Here, hold that for a second, I'll come in close on. Now, where are these from? Uh, these are all from Peru. Great. So they have a big uh, thriving industry in Peru to wind and twist these yarns. Some of them that uh, Cascade sells are also from Italy. Now, do all these have different uses, or is it just my lack of knowledge that... Oh, it's just uh, all these yarns serve different purposes and can be combined to do bigger, different things. Um, this is uh, Angora rabbit fur. Very, very soft yarn, but most people don't like it if it's 100% Angora because it's all fluff and it blows in people's faces and they just aren't comfortable with it. This is 50% Angora and 50% wool, so it has less fluff. These fancy yarns are often made into scarves. These uh, chunky yarns have a thick and thin. They're turned into sweaters and garments. The yarns up top that are on cones are acrylic, and they are for like children's garments and for craft projects. These fuzzy, furry, ornamental yarns, these decorative yarns, can be used in scarves and other uh, personal uh, pieces. from all over the world, all points on the planet. Turkey, China, Egypt, France, Italy, Europe in general, Canada. We've got uh, some really unusual yarns that we're going to be carrying soon that are alpaca, raised in the Northwest, spun to uh, our specifications, and wound into yarn for sale here. Uh, and the colors and the twists will be exclusive to the store.
Morgan, what's this machine over here to my right? Okay, to your right and down a little bit, this is a knitting machine. And I'll just run it once and let you see how it uh, sounds and acts and behaves. The whole purpose of the knitting machine is to take the place of the hand knitting process. This is a mid-gauge machine, which means it can handle all the hand knitting yarns I sell in the store. And the advantage of a knitting machine is not only the productivity, but it has or offers a whole uh, new dimension of stitch work that you can do that hand knitters won't take on. So somehow you tie your pattern into this particular machine is like a loom, or is it totally different than? Um, it's different than a loom in that I can take a pattern for my knitting and plug it into the computer and download it into this knitting machine and essentially create a picture based on my pattern. So I can knit almost anything. If it's in two or three or four colors, I can create a fabric out of that. And that's two or three or four colors in any one row, so the picture can actually be very complicated. And if I have the time, I can actually hand craft every fabric I make. So it's not really cheating. Well, a lot of hand knitters think it's cheating to use a knitting machine. However, it's not. This is a separate art form in its own right and uh, really deserves a place next to hand knitting, not underneath it. And do you teach people how to use it? I t sell the machines. I'm a silver reed dealer as well as teach them how to make fine fabrics on the machine. Great. Morgan, earlier when you were showing me around the store, you mentioned that this shop is on gifted time. Uh, what, what did you mean by that? Well, uh, I've thought for many years to open a yarn store. It's something that I've always wanted to do. And then about 15 years ago, I became very sick. And having survived that, I deal with uh, the realization, I have the realization that every day is a gift and this is a gifted time experience. So the entire store is something that might never have happened. And as a result of being alive, it's a gift. So the silver lining in your disease is the creation of this? Well, we all survive day to day. When a complicated illness like cancer comes along, surviving that is a focused gift. We have to really devote um, most of our attention to our survival. Coming away from that and surviving it uh, unscathed or less scathed um, and then turning your life into something uh, to return to productivity is very challenging, a very difficult thing. Until last year, uh, I decided it was time to really take the shot and, and give fully back what I can to the community. And whether it's the internet community, the community of knitters and crocheters at large around the world, uh, through video such as this or through other forms such as my books. Um, somehow I'm returning to other people some of my design ideas, some of my teaching uh, techniques, some of the work that I do. I'm still creating new patterns, I'm still productive, and every time a customer comes in to this store the help is always free. It's a commitment I made on the very first day and I have lived to uh, keep this entire time. Uh, there are classes and they're paid uh, classes, but any question being asked over the table is always free. The answers are free. Other stores charge for their help and God bless them. In this case, I want to be sure that uh, there's always an answer here that's a given and delivered by an expert that will not lead them astray and that is delivered from the heart as well as the mind. Thanks, Morgan. Everybody who's come in today has been blown away by your product and how you've got answers for all their questions. Thank you. Thanks.